You're going to steal from me. Why don't you steal, steal something that's got some value? Huh? I, I just made a mistake. Yeah, well, that's a pretty bad mistake to make. Take your mask off. Take a seat. I just... I just said, take a seat. No. Put it over there. Put it on the table. You don't usually break your houses, do you? No. And I bet this is your first breaking, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I can tell, because subtlety is definitely not your strong point. I mean, old Mrs. Baxter who lives next door, I bet she heard it, and she's deaf. What's your name? Peter. Speak up, lad. If I wanted to have done something, I'd have done it a lot sooner. My name's Peter. So Peter, tell me, why are you breaking into my house? It's complicated. So it's about money then? Now let me tell you, if you would have still that urn, you wouldn't have made much money out of that. You see, that urn is filled with the remains of the person that I cherished in this world. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Is that your partner? Yeah. I suppose you could have called him that. I never put a label on it before. Just when you said partner, I assume you meant wife. I get the impression you, you don't talk much about it. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Hang on, kid, wait a minute, wait a minute. Me and you are from two different generations. It's not accepted. Yeah, we, can't, we just can't do what we want to do. But some people are just totally against it still. What's your name? Sam Well. It's Spanish. It's pronounced, you know, Sam Well. You know, they're like Sam and in Wells. My father was Argentinian and, uh, well, he wanted his son to have an Argentinian name, like, you know. So. I like it. it. It's different. Yeah, the name was alright. But let me tell you, growing up was hell. Why is that? It was the 70s and the 80s. I mean, like I've said to you, I mean, we just, we just had to hide it all. I wouldn't accept it. And not only that, I mean, having an Argentinian family is... Well... What's your family got to do with any of it? Jesus Christ, don't you know your history, boy? The Falklands War, yeah? The war with Argentina. Oh, my God. I, I never liked history at school. Yeah, clearly. But what was his name? Well, why do you care? Being polite. Polite? Jesus Christ! You just robbed my house! And you talk about being polite! His name was James. God, I miss him. It's funny, isn't it? You spend, you spend all your time and your life with somebody. See, that's something you wouldn't understand. Something I don't understand. You don't know me. You don't know why I'm here. Do you want to know why I'm here? In your house. My fiance died a year ago. We had a dollar together. She was only 24 when she passed. First met her when we were both 17. And on her 19th birthday, she was told she had terminal cancer. She fought it. She fought it with everything she had. And then two years before she passed, he had a beautiful baby girl. 
Now my girl has to grow up in a world without her mother. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm in your house. Because I tried to save the person I love the most in this world. I couldn't stop her from dying. Now, I'm struggling. And I have to raise my girl by myself. I'm sorry. I met him when I was 18. I'd never been so compelled by anybody in my life. We spent 30 years together. 30 years living in secret. And then he went and died two years ago of cancer as well. I can't, but I don't understand. I made some bad mistakes in my time. I've done things that other men wouldn't even dream of. I've got to live with those choices. Maybe this will go some way to making things right. I 